Regeneron is one of the largest biotech companies in the world, really a company that focuses on great science and improving patient outcomes. Regeneron, we focus on something called the exome. And when we sequence the exome, that's the 1% of the genome that actually makes the proteins. We can do these large-scale sequencing studies so we can find mutations in certain genes. Then we can have very high confidence that with our antibody-based technology, we can bind specifically to those protein targets that we find and make a very effective drug that can help cure diseases. We've sequenced about 150,000 people in our last two or three years, and we're also moving forward at a capacity of, you know, in excess of 150,000 people a year. And now we're doing very large-scale human genetics gene discovery for new target discovery. We're applying it towards validating our existing drug development programs, guiding the development of our therapeutics, and also looking at pharmacogenic applications for our existing programs. We started in the lab prepping 20,000 samples per year. We've scaled that capacity at least tenfold just by innovating on the technology side. Just three years later now, we've increased those targets to be a couple hundred thousand exomes per year. And so as we continue to scale that, we need to have sequencing capacity that can keep up with that. The NovaSeq platform and the continual innovation and ability to scale our sequencing and our numbers is really gonna help us now do what we've done for our first handful of diseases and discoveries across the board. It used to be that our rate limiting step now would be at the sequencers, and we could add more sequencers to compensate with that. But with InnovaSeq, I'm sure it's gonna be a while before we're outstripping the capacity of those machines. Speed is critical. One of the most difficult parts right now in the drug discovery process is delivering really good targets into the pipeline. And that the faster we can sequence these samples and the bigger we can build up these data sets, the more success we're gonna have. As we think about continually scaling our sequencing output, it becomes a little bit unrealistic to continue to add machines to our current existing fleet. We have over a dozen different machines in our sequencing fleet right now. So this new platform, this new infrastructure, allows us basically to start over and redesign for a whole new uh, scale and output that we want to move for the future. Something great about the NovaSeq is the ease of use. We've got a new user interface. It's much more user friendly. The way it's been designed is that you'll be able to place these things in a lab and there'll be a very quick adaptation for how you can use these machines. The reagents come cartridge based, so thaw them out, pop them on the machine. All of the clustering is done on board, so really, combined with our automation, the robots can take it right through to that final step before the sample has to be put on the sequencer. So we'll be able to take that manpower that was currently in the sequencing lab, repurpose it somewhere else, and continue to increase our sample prep capacity in the lab. We used to think about projects in a certain size and feasibility, and we've completely blown that up. Once we get the NovaSeqs, one of the first things we'll do is we'll compare it back to our data that we've already generated in the lab. And for what we've already seen from Illumina, it looks like the data will be incredibly high quality, on par, Q30 scores with what the 2500s are producing. We're confident that Illumina has developed this two-color chemistry to a level that it's gonna be huge production scale success. We at Regeneron have been the firmest and most strident believers in the power of human genetics and the need for human genetics in our industry for drug discovery and development. We certainly could not do this without the technology and the capabilities that we've been enabled by Illumina.